Hi everyone! I'm so looking forward to talk to you about our new book, Pillow Talk. I Medita sitar with laundry basket quilts and I'm at the Fat Quarter Shop Studios where we're taping beautiful videos for you to enjoy and learn new techniques that we have it in our new book. Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. These pillows are all about spelling with fabrics. I am looking forward to do some fun stuff with you. This one is perfect for the holidays. Ho, ho, ho. What a super cute pillow. I used the red background on this one and used a light one from our linen texture fabrics, uh, laundry basket quilts favorites. Uh, and this one is gonna be perfect with any Christmas quilts. In our book, we have included an alphabet uh, the full alphabet so you can spell anything you want on your pillow if you want to make initial mr. and mrs. you have all of the options if you want to just write mom or uh, anything you would like to there's so many different ideas and I can't wait to see what you come up with it but for now let's focus on just those two simple letter H and O and see how we make them we have pre-cut kits, or you can go ahead and uh, follow the directions in the pattern in the book. Uh, gives you all of the cutting, what you need for this particular pillow or any of the other alphabet letters. I already have a pre-cut kit and notice even those little tiny squares, one and a half by one and a half, are nicely pre-cut for me. All of the pre-cut pieces are cut with laser, so during the process they're not going to fray as much because the edges are burned gently to cut it. So what I'm going to do from my kit, I selected all the pieces that I need for H. I have two rectangles in light two rectangles in red and one smaller rectangle in light. I'm gonna take this one, place it together, sew it, place it together and sew it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and you can push the seam allowances towards the red or you can open the seam allowances, it's up to you. Then I'm gonna take this one, place it right here, place it right here, right sides together of course, sew it, make sure you use beautiful pins and I love to use those glass head pins, they work wonderful, especially when I'm sewing a long distance. I remind myself, pin, 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 sew it. As soon as you finish sewing, you go ahead and you have a beautiful letter made and you can push the seam allowance towards the light because those two seams are going to be pushing and you don't want to have a bump. If you notice that the fabric is peeking right through, just open the seam. It's up to you. It's up to quality of the fabric. So you can also go ahead and open the seam and push it towards the red right here. It's up to you. I liked pushing this way because I'm already planning how I'm going to quilt and stitching in a ditch would be the way how I would like to finish this letter. All right, so we did an H. Now let's go and see if we can make our second letter O. O has triangles in it. We're gonna have big rectangle for the center in red, two smaller rectangles in a light. We just place them right sides together like this and sew it on the top and the bottom, then flip it open, push the seam allowance towards the red. Then on the sides, I have a longer light rectangle. I'm gonna place a small square on each end of my rectangle. Oh, this is so much fun. Don't forget to use your pins Remember that keep everything nice and organized in place for you. But before you put the pins down, make sure you draw a straight line from this point to this point. And I like to use a marking tape, uh, a pen, and there are all different ones. The sew line has a red uh, little uh, line onto it, or you can use this one. You just grab it, take your ruler. Oh, I'm gonna use that cute one, three and a half by three and a half. That's such a handy, good little ruler. I'm gonna place it. Notice it. my 
line for 45 degree is laying right next to the edge of my square and then with this cute little pencil I'm gonna make a nice line and that line is gonna be my guideline where to sew from this point to this point and I already sewn right here now just remember when you are sewing don't start here always start over here why do I do this because when I uh, approach this point I can put my finger on each side sew it right down finger on each side sew it right down to the point and I don't have to worry that my sewing machine grab this point and push it back to my bobbin what well, it's not a pleasant experience we want to have a nice and pleasant experience as soon as you finish you're gonna go ahead trim this area off just like that place the ruler over this line uh, quarter, add a quarter inch to it then trim it so trim a quarter inch away do you see what I just did and then you're gonna flip it open and you have a beautiful triangle that you have made once you finish the triangles you're gonna sew this to the center finish the other side and in no time you're gonna have a beautiful O oh, and all your friends gonna go oh how beautiful that's what they need to say to you and your confidence is gonna be just glowing now you'll be ready for moa letters once you have your letters done you're gonna add additional piece pieces of red and a big square and start creating a row just like i have one right here those squares gonna go here and here and now once you have a row you sew your rows together with another strip in between strip on the top strip on the bottom and your pillow is finished you are ready for the holidays what a wonderful gift for someone isn't that fun and just with the small kit you have everything you need to make one pillow i hope you enjoy spelling with me today and some fabrics remember we have a full alphabet in the book as well as a direction to make a small baby quilt Oh, I am so excited. Wouldn't it be nice to make a pillow for a nursery and a matching quilt? Guys, I'm so looking forward to quilt with you. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Make sure you visit Fat Quarter Shop YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you get a chance, visit Laundry Basket Quilts Quilting Window. I am so thrilled to quilt with me and have a wonderful day. Mm-hmm.